Welcome to Art Stars Explorers. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Stars as a gallery coordinator and preparator. I started the Explorers program three years ago, and I'm excited to bring a version online that can be enjoyed by families across the province. A texture is a feeling or appearance of a surface, or the consistency of a substance. Basically, it is the look and feel of an object. If you touch a plastic ball, what kind of texture does it have? When you look at the grass compared to a sidewalk, what is different about their surfaces? What's different about the texture of juice compared to the texture of a popsicle? Let's explore together today what it means to experience, see, touch, and use texture in our art making practice and daily lives. If you've never joined us for Explorers in the past, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture in our heads about how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask yourself, I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing home with you except your experience. But since many of you are at home now, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today. This means after you finish trying something, try to disassemble or take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps and that's just what we're practicing today. What kind of things have texture? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Usually when people start talking or thinking about texture, it's about things you can touch. You could start by touching different things in your home, classroom, or art making space and see what you can find. When I went looking, I found a pencil. I think a pencil is a good way for us to start exploring together because it has a bunch of different textures. Did you find a pencil? There is the wood and the graphite piece at the end that can make a mark. Just by looking at the pencil's wood, I would think that it's rough, but it's not. It's smooth. Both the wood and the graphite are smooth. But while they are both smooth, the graphite still feels different than the wood. It feels slippery where the graphite rubs off on my fingers. And the body of the pencil? It's made of wood too, but this one has a coating on top of it. So it's smooth and a bit slippery too, but it's a different kind of smooth than the wood and different from the smooth and slippery of the graphite. Then there's this band of metal and it looks and feels lumpy when I run my fingers down the edge, but when I follow the horizontal bands with my eyes and my fingers, it's smooth too but it's also kind of cold. So that's another different kind of smooth. And then finally, there's the eraser at the end. It's a little squishy, but kind of hard squishy. And it's also smooth. So with one object, I was able to find five different materials, all of them smooth, but smooth in different ways. What did you notice when you found something to look at and touch? We have our pencil ready to go, so let's make something together to try and make some new texture. For this activity, let's also get a piece of paper, any size, and remember, you can always get something out of the recycling bin. We started by looking at a pencil, but now let's take a look and a feel at our piece of paper. What kind of paper did you find? Is it blank or empty? Does it have writing or marks on it already? Can you feel those marks? 
Is the paper rough or smooth? If you can, get really close up to the paper and see how close you can focus your eyes. If you have access to a magnifying glass or a pair of glasses, what happens when you look through those or if you take off your glasses? Try feeling your paper. Are there parts of your paper that feel different than other parts? Before we do anything else, try to get really, really familiar with your piece of paper. Once we've really explored our paper, now we're going to try and add some texture. Using only your body and the pencil, how many different ways can you change the paper's texture? There is no wrong or right way. Here are some of the things I tried. Try to slow down after each time you make a change to your paper and take a second or two to look and feel your paper again. What's different? Feel like you've explored this paper's texture possibilities enough? If you haven't done it yet, here comes one of my favorite things to do with recycled paper just before we clean up. Rip it up. I love ripping paper. When you've ripped it up, try putting it into piles or spacing it around your work area. How does the paper feel now? How would you describe the new texture you've made? In fact, you could stop calling this a piece of paper and now call it a pile of paper or a sculpture of a pile. What is the texture of this pile? Does it look like it feels? There are lots of ways you can explore texture and I've just suggested a few. Be sure to download our activity resource guide this week for additional questions you can ask each other and some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're playing with texture. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only thing that is left behind are the pictures in your brain. Thank you for watching this video today. We will be hosting live art making sessions on textures for the next three Saturdays at 11 a.m. where you can make alongside me and ask questions. Be online at facebook.com slash artstarts around 11 in the morning, and you'll see our workshop stream go live. We save all our workshop videos after as well, so you can check out one of our past workshops anytime and again with friends. As a special treat this month, we'll also have a Halloween special on October 24th. On the last Saturday of the month, We'll have a live online performance on Facebook Live by one of the performing and touring artists in the Arts Arts directory. There's always something free to see, do, and play along with on Saturdays at 11 a.m. online with Arts Arts in Schools. All families, young learners, guardians, friends, and creative folks of all ages are welcome to join us online. I hope to see you then.